Welcome back to another 7 minute review with me, P the Critic. It's been a bit since our last review and we've been busy testing a couple items that we'll be reviewing shortly, including this coffee machine here, the Lore Barista Coffee and Espresso System. This Lore machine is designed to work with Nespresso Original Line capsules, similar to the Ninja Espresso and Coffee Barista System we reviewed previously. I'll include a link to that review in the description below. What really separates this machine from just about any other Nespresso machine is that you can use larger size capsules, allowing you to make larger American style coffee drinks as well. Looking at the capsules, you can see a significant size difference between the standard size Nespresso capsules and the larger lower capsules for coffee. Yes, I know Nespresso also offers this option with the virtual line capsules, but the way in which Philips and Lohr have approached this is pretty unique, and that has some advantages over the virtual line. The saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. But with this unit here, Lohr and Philips may have found a way to beat Nespresso at their own game. For simplicity, I will be referring to the smaller capsules as espresso capsules, and the larger capsules as coffee capsules. The Nespresso original line machines only accept original size Nespresso capsules as well as third party capsules that are designed to work with them, including the lower capsules will fit in a Nespresso machine as well. Keep in mind though that these larger capsules will not fit in any Nespresso machine and will only fit in the lower machines. Now the Nespresso Virtual line has a wider capsule, so they're wider and they come in different sizes, so their thickness or their height is also different. Each capsule has a unique barcode and that tells the Virtual line machines what size drink to make. The original line machines and capsules, they work more like a traditional espresso machine as they use 19 bars of pressure to pull the shot. The Virtual machines use a completely different extraction method called centrifusion. And basically the water goes into the capsule, which then spins at about 7,000 revolutions per minute to produce a similar result to true espresso. The crema with the virtual machines tends to be a bit thicker, but like many other coffee reviewers, I find that the taste and mouth feel of the virtual machines, the result tends to be less enjoyable and less like a true espresso than the original line. And here's what's unique about the lower barista system. It works just like the original line Nespresso machines by using 19 bars of pressure, but by using this larger capsule size, you can make larger coffee size drinks as well. The machine will automatically detect if a small capsule is used or if you've inserted a larger one, and you have three choices of cup sizes to go with. Going in order, the small button will give you a 1.4 ounce single shot size, a 2.7 ounce double shot size, or a 3.7 ounce lungo shot size with espresso capsules. With the larger coffee capsules, the same three buttons will result in a 5 ounce coffee, an 8 ounce coffee, or a 12 ounce coffee. With all that said and out of the way, let's test the unit with a Nespresso capsule as well as an espresso capsule to see how the lower capsules compare to Nespresso capsules. We'll also take a look at a five ounce coffee from the lower machine using one of our coffee size capsules. You can see the crema levels look very similar between the two, very similar color. Of course, one is the Lore capsule, one is a Nespresso capsule. Let's see what they taste like. The Lore and the Nespresso capsules both have a great taste profile and are very comparable, but we actually never got to test them on camera because of a little mishap while my wife was trying to toss me my ring. We lost a good espresso shot glass that day. Now let's get to our coffee based drink. Once the larger size pod or capsule is inserted, 
automatically recognize that it's a larger capsule. I am pressing the same button that I used for the espresso drinks, and you'll see that it's gonna make a much larger cup. So even with the coffee sized drinks, you still get a nice crema. This is also very good. I can easily drink this without milk, which is not necessarily the case with every drip coffee for me. Cost-wise, the Lure is a much better value per capsule than the Nespresso Virtual line as well. The capsules can be found as low as 59 cents per capsule, and the coffee capsules can be found on Amazon for as low as 80 cents per capsule. Comparing these to about $1.40 for some of these 7.8 ounce cup sizes, and up to $1.65 for some of the carafe sizes with the Virtual line, it's a significant savings if you drink even two cups a day. That would be an average cost savings of about $30 per month compared to the Virtual line. In conclusion, based on our testing and our findings, if you only plan to drink espresso-based drinks, then either this machine or any Nespresso Original Line machine would work really well as a capsule-based single cup system. If you want a machine that will do espresso capsules, but also do traditional American coffee and give you a carafe size or single cups using your own grinds, then we still think the Ninja Espresso and Coffee Barista system that we previously reviewed is a great value as well. If you want a single cup system that is basically only going to work with capsules and you want to be able to do espresso drinks as well as coffee-based drinks, then the virtual line is a pretty good option. It's not a bad option, but taking into consideration the espresso and coffee options that this machine offers, the quality of the drinks it produces, and the relatively affordable price per cup, I think the lower barista coffee and espresso system should probably be at the top of the list for most people. Again, it's been a great unit for us in our home, and we look, really look forward to continuing to use it on a daily basis. As always, thank you very much for watching and we really appreciate all the great comments, feedback, and support we've been receiving on our channel. If there are other products, specific items that you would like to see us review, please let us know in the comment section. We're also taking a look at Agagia Super Automatic Espresso Machine that we've been testing. So please let us know if you'd like to see us review that as well. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you on our next seven minute review. Capsule size, allowing you to make, <laughs> that was a bad throw. Machine <laughs> is that you can use larger size capsules, also use larger size capsules, allowing you to make